Hey everybody, in this video we're going to look at the final stretch run on Friday that ultimately hurt the Clippers in a loss. If we're talking about just the final 2 minutes and 45 seconds of this game on Friday, the Clippers problems do start here, but they had problems with similar things all throughout this game as a whole. But here Luke Kennard shows on the screen which is a good job. Kawhi Leonard does not get his hands up to block this pass back to Carson Edwards, and Luke Kennard inexplicably fouls and compounds the problem, and it's just three free throws you cannot give up. In the final 2.45 of this game, the Clippers got a little bit too careless with the basketball and didn't optimize possessions offensively. Here, Lou Williams sets a little guard ball screen, he's going to pop off of it. Kawhi Leonard's going to come downhill. He has Williams open. He could just kick it back to him. We saw Tatum do it on the previous possession. Instead, Leonard's going to try to take Tatum off the dribble, which is fine, but he overexposes the ball and allows Tatum to, you know, just reach in and poke the ball loose. Boston speeds up the other way. The ball is eventually going to find its way into the hands of Tatum. Leonard does a good job of running Tatum off the line, but Tristan Thompson sets a nice little seal screen here. Jason Tatum's going to go up and he gets fouled and he goes to the line to extend the Boston lead late in the game. The Clippers had poor discipline at the end of this game. Not to say they didn't do things correctly or anything, but they almost rushed things too much. Kawhi Leonard sets a screen to force Boston to switch the action, and this is exactly what the Clippers want. They want this matchup as the ball gets entered to Kawhi Leonard. They want Leonard against Kemba Walker in the post, but Boston knows this too. So they immediately send Tatum. The ball's going to go to Lou Williams. Williams is going to slide it and swing it to Marcus Morris Sr. Sr. has to kick it to Nicholas Batum, but Kemba Walker is already hustling over to the corner. He's exiting out all the way to the corner. Batum takes a contested shot. He doesn't need to take this. He could reset the ball, reset the offense, and work to get a better one. This is a play where the Clippers do good things and then do poor things by having poor discipline. Great show by Serge Ibaka on this action to trap Jason Tatum. Nicholas Batum is going to read this passing lane, get right into it, and steal the ball. But right here, he should just hold it up. You don't need to rush it. Instead, he kicks it to Kawhi Leonard up the court. Kawhi Leonard is going to get the ball ripped from him by Jason Tatum. And now the Clippers are in scramble mode defensively. This is not a good spot to be in. They should have slowed the ball down with a lead. Here, Tristan Thompson sets the screen against Batum. Kemba Walker is going to come downhill. Serge Ibaka overexposes and, and flips his hips the wrong way. He needs to say square to the ball handler. It allows Kemba Walker to get to his step back, and Kemba Walker knocks this down to give Boston a late lead. The Clippers just rush things at the end of this game. Batum sets a nice screen. Leonard's going to come up and get the ball. As he gets it, he's going to curl downhill down the right elbow. Carson Edwards digs down to get Leonard to give the ball up. He doesn't, he doesn't pass it to Luke Kennard. Instead, Leonard goes up with this mid-range jumper. He can make this, but he goes for the two-for-one rather than getting the optimal shot. As I said, it was just poor decisions by the Clippers. They're down by three here. They don't need a three, though. There's still a lot of time. Kawhi Leonard should be cutting straight down to the paint, but he doesn't. Instead, he gets fronted in the, in the high post and at the nail. And this kind of throws the Clippers into a wonky situation because now as the clock dwindles down, you need a three. Tristan Thompson wants the ball out of Kawhi Leonard's hand, so he runs at him. But Leonard makes the wrong decision. Instead of passing to Marcus Morris, who could swing it to Nicholas Batum for an open corner three, he takes the three. It's a poor decision, and the Clippers end up losing the game because of poor decisions.